Medieval Heresy, Witchcraft, and Inquisition is really going to be an exploration into the way that people viewed the world around them. Um, in the Middle Ages, you had holistic healing, you had uh, confusion really about the way God worked, the basic question, if God is good, why do bad things happen? And what heresies tried to do was help people to come up with a a holistic idea of what it is that's going on. How can they explain the world? Um, you have different, we're going to be looking at different heresies like Cathars that were really dualist, that there's a good God and bad God and they're always fighting and we're kind of caught in the middle. Witchcraft, well, we would consider it like holistic healing in many ways. Um, various salves will help with this. Midwives were really involved in this because of childbirth and breech birth was always a big problem. Um, we're going to be looking at demonology, which is really an, a learned heresy. This notion that you have priests sitting in some sort of cave monastery somewhere thinking about ways that demons and Satan uh, con women into doing their dirty work for them. And then we're going to be looking at the institutional response to this and with regards to the Inquisition. You have the Papal Inquisition, which really had to work with uh, various rulers because technically the church couldn't torture, although there was torture. And then you have the State Inquisition, the Spanish Inquisition, where the papacy and the clerics were really sitting by the wayside um, while the state went out and persecuted heretics, Jews, witches, pretty much anyone who was not with the organized church. And that's really what heresy and witchcraft is. It's a way of social control. It's a way of the church really guiding and moving your faith, your belief, and how people, whether purposefully or unintentionally, moved away from that. So we're going to be looking at a lot of different topics. What was the average lay person's belief, the average Joe? How did they express their faith? Um, we're going to be looking at different heresies that were popular during the Middle Ages. We're going to look at witchcraft from the popular level, the people's version versus the cleric's version, demonology. Then we're even going to dive into a little bit the um, Salem witch trials. How was that an inquisition of sorts? Why is it that you have this kind of uh, witch craze in Salem at that time? The course is really going to be based on discussion. We're going to have readings of primary sources and we're really going to get into what can we put, tease out from these sources about how people view the world around them. There'll be a 12 to 15 page research paper and then at the end of the semester you'll do a research presentation, kind of like a conference paper where you'll take your paper get it into 20 minutes and get that experience of what it's like to stand in front of people presenting your work and what your findings are.